What is up, everybody? Welcome to DFS by the Numbers. This is my main event breakdown and prediction for UFC Vegas 88. We got Tai Tuivasa going against Marcin Tybura. And yes, this is uh, the main event. Tai Tuivasa, kind of surprised he's getting a main event here. Um, he's on a three-fight skid. To his credit, you know, he has been going out there and losing to really good fighters like Sergei Pavlovich, Cyril Gaon, and Alexander Volkov. But a three-fight skid nonetheless. And then as far as Marcin Tybura, he just got starched 60 seconds in his last fight against Tom Aspinall. So we're back in the apex here. We have a 13-fight card. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to this main event. Um, you know, Tai Tui Voss is a fan favorite. I'm a big fan of the guy. He always brings fun and exciting fights. So definitely looking forward to it. Looking forward to breaking it down. Before we do so, if you guys could do me a favor, leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for the full card breakdown for ufc vegas 88 i just finished researching all the fights today i'm going to record my breakdown video tonight on monday so that'll be out a monday night all right i say we get into this fight though because it's an interesting fight it really is it's one of the closer line fights in the card we'll start with tai tuivasa who is 31 years old six foot two with a 75 inch reach uh, 15 and six and two and three in his last five fights marcin tibera 38 years old, six foot three with a 78 inch reach, 24 and eight, and three and two in his last five fights. We'll take a look at the odds here. We have Tai Tuivasa opening up minus 130, currently minus 125, and Marcin Tibera opened up plus 110, and he's currently plus 105. So Marcin Tibera isn't like your typical heavyweight, right? Like I was looking through this guy's record, and he has tons of fights in the UFC. I want to say almost 20 fights in the UFC but he's not really a finisher um, at all he doesn't really have a ton of power and when he is finishing fights a lot of those finishes do come you know via TKO on the mat like I'm pretty sure it only has like four finishes in the UFC and this guy's been fighting for a long time so yeah um, not much of a finisher he was able to go out there and his last finish was against Walt Harris um, via TKO in the first round he also TKO'd Greg Hardy in the second round so he's one of those guys that you know, he needs to get fights down to the mat, especially in this fight. And uh, if he does that, you know, we've seen Tai Tuivasa struggle on the ground, struggled against um, his last opponent, Alexander Volkov on the mat, got submitted, looked bad on the ground, and then against uh, Sergei Spivak, just got ragdolled and, and finished on the mat as well. So, yeah, the path to victory is certainly there for Tybura. The problem with Tybura, though, is he is a BJJ black belt who has attempted maybe one submission in the UFC, has no submissions in the UFC. Um, he's a guy that, in a lot of his fights, he should be getting fights down to the map, but in a lot of his fights, he kind of waits a while to initiate the wrestling, and there's not a, a ton of fights where he is going out there and landing a ton of takedowns. Um, the most takedowns he's landed in a fight was against Stefan Struve um, back in, like, 2017. He even took down Maxim Grishin three times, who Maxim Grishin is just a, a light heavyweight. But other than that, He's not really taking guys down a ton, you know, once or twice here and there. But, yeah, that's not really a, a massive part of his game and when it really should be. You know, I think that's the best part of his game, when he is able to get guys down to the mat because his ground and pound is good and he does have a couple, you know, TKO finishes on the mat. But, yeah, on the feet, he doesn't really offer a ton. Like, his volume's decent, but he's kind of hittable. He doesn't have really any power at all. So, you know, Tai Tui Voss is not going to have to worry about anything coming back to him. Um, like he did in the Pavlovich fight, obviously. Like, you got to worry about Pavlovich hitting you and hitting you very hard, whereas Tybura doesn't have a ton of power, and he's definitely not hurting Tuivasa on the feet. And even Alexander Volkov, this guy's massive, and he has sneaky power as well. And, of course, Cyril Gaon, who just completely outclassed Tuivasa, is a very tough fight for a lot of guys in the heavyweight division. So, you know, Tuivasa is going to probably get the fight he wants here and early on and I think that could potentially be enough I think Tuivasa is going to attack the legs of Marcin Tybura and Tai Tuivasa is one of the hardest hitters in the heavyweight division he hits very very hard and that's kind of something Marcin Tybura struggled with in a lot of his fights Tybura has been knocked out multiple times Aspinall knocked him out we saw Augusto Sakai of all people knock him out Shamil Abdurakimov knock him out Derek Lewis knock him out and then we've seen guys almost knock him out and then get finished because they gassed out like Walt Harris Harris almost knocked out Tybura, gassed out, got finished. Greg Hardy was having a ton of success, gassed out, got finished. And that's kind of how a lot of these Marcin Tybura fights do go. But yeah, Tai Tui Voss, I think, is going to be a big problem for Marcin Tybura in these first one and a half rounds. The The problem with um, you know, Tui Voss is this guy has eight wins, 
in the UFC, and seven of those eight wins come under one and a half rounds before seven and a half minutes. And the one win that he does have that did go over one and a half was against Andre Arlovsky in a fight where he did drop Andre Arlovsky in the first round. So when Tuivas is winning fights, he's winning them early on. The cardio is definitely concerned because uh, to Marcin Tibera's credit, he does have really good cardio for a heavyweight. I mean, it's not bad at all. Whereas Tuivasa, he's kind of getting things done a little bit earlier. So I think uh, Tuivasa is going to probably put it on Tibera early. And if Tibera can survive, get this fight extended the second, the third round, it's heavily going to favor him. But I'm not, I'm not sure he does. And then if Tibera can get on top of Tuivasa, especially if the fight is in the second, the third round, Tibera probably could TKO him. So it's a very interesting matchup. It's a closely lined fight. I'm personally more so leaning on the Tai Tuivasa side. I think he's really going to beat up Marcin Tibera. Um, and I don't think Tibera is going to be able to kind of Homer Simpson his way out of this one like he did in that um, the, the the Hardy fight, like he did in that uh, Walt Harris fight. I think Tuivasa is able to get him out of there. Probably, probably first round, maybe early second round, but I'm kind of leading Tuivasa early on here. So we got some props on this fight. First of all, the fight goes the distance is plus 700. The fight doesn't go the distance is minus 1400, which is just crazy. I think this fight finishes, but but holy crap. Um, uh, I guess Tyburn could potentially win a decision. Um, he's Like I said, he's not really much of a finisher, but I'm kind of on the Tui Vasa side. I'm going to be looking at Tui Vasa round one, round two. Right now they have Tui Vasa round one plus 200, which is trash. Um, they're all over it. Tuivasa round two is plus 600, so they know. They know that if Tuivasa does win this fight, it's probably early, and if Tibera wins this fight, it's either going to be a decision or it's going to be later in the fight. Right now, they have Tibera round three, four, and five, uh, plus 1,000, plus 2,200, and plus 3,000, which isn't terrible if it does get there. I think, you know, as you know, the, the longer this fight does go on, the more it does favor Marcin Tibera, but I just have a feeling Tuivasa is going to get him early. I have a feeling this is a very good get right spot for Tai Tuivasa I mean he needs to to win this fight I mean if he loses this fight he's going to be on a four fight skid and I don't think he's going to get cut because you don't want to cut a guy as as popular and as exciting as Tuivasa but you know a four fight skid is not a not a good look especially losing to Marcin Tibera like we can forgive Tai Tuivasa for losing to Alexander Volkov Sergei Pavlovich especially and then Cyril Gaon but if you lose to Marcin Tibera that's that's unforgivable. I mean, that would be a, just a terrible look. So, yeah, Tuivasa needs to get back on track, and I think this is definitely a fight where he can get back on track, and I think he does get back on track with a first-round knockout here. Um, so there there you guys have it. Uh, this breakdown probably is going to last longer than the fight, uh, <laughs> to be honest. I think Tuivasa goes out there, and he beats up Tybura and gets him out of there in the first round, gets back on track there. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys have for this main event. It's interesting. Like, you can make a case for both sides, but I'm on the Tuivasa side by first-round knockout there. Um, be on the lookout for the full-card breakdown and prediction video Monday night. Have all the fights researched and taped. Now I just need to record and edit all that good stuff. So let me look out for that. And then, of course, more content throughout the week. Betting, DraftKings, prize picks, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, guys, best of luck for UFC Vegas 88. We're back in the Apex. Should be fun. And we'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.